Divide by zero. One, two, three, no. Three, four, Tyler, you stretching? Five. One. No. Three. Uh, the answer is unsolvable. Yeah, this is no solution. Everybody take out the cell phone that's in your pocket right now. Take them out. Take them out. You're allowed to have a cell phone in your pocket, and you all do, so take it out. Okay, everybody in here, you are going to go to the calculator on your phone. So find wherever that phone calculator is. You might have a downloaded one. You might have, you might have just whatever came with your phone to begin with. Go to your phone. Uh, type in any number. I'm going to type in 9. Hard to see, isn't it? Type in any number you want, and then divide by zero. Make sure that zero is on the bottom. It can't be zero divided by that number. It's that number, whatever you pick, divided by zero. Oh, it's error. Mine says error. What does yours say? Error. 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 Anybody else have something different? Zero. Some actually say you can't divide by zero. Like, they directly tell you that. And that's because if I had a piece of, like, let's say I had a pizza... And I said, all right, I want to split this up among zero people. How much does each zero person get? One, one pizza. No, there, that's not a number. You can't say it is one person who gets one pizza. It's no people. Therefore, we shouldn't be distributing any pizza, but we have some pizza. So you just can't divide it into zero parts, okay? Um, so we're going to write this down now. This is, uh, if you were to graph this, Quick, do a little graph here. If I was to graph this, I would say this is at negative 3, 4, and negative 3, negative 2, which is right here. That's a perfectly vertical line. So a vertical line that's up and down has no slope, or you could say no solution. But just so you know, when you're working on your homework, if you run across one that is a flat line, the, horizontal, the slope is zero. And if you run across something that's a vertical line going up and down, that means you say no slope. Now, could you realize that that's the case just by noticing the x's are the same or the y's are the same? And not do the math? Yeah, as long as you get it right, don't make a guess on whether that's a vertical line or horizontal line. All right, you've got the rest of the time to work on that assignment. Remember, it is due tomorrow. It is page 225, 1, 2, 5, and 14 through 22. Everybody take a look at the assignment with me really quick. How do you find a slope based on just a table on number 1 and 2? 225. Dylan. Yeah. You don't even have to pick them close to each other. Just pick two points. You can be like, okay, my first point is 115, and my second point is 4, negative 3. It doesn't matter. As long as you pick two points, then you just do the process we've been doing. Make a graph or make the equation your choice. How about number 5? How do you tell it on a graph? How do you find the difference, the temperature change between 7 a.m. and 6 a.m.? Here's 6 a.m. and here's 7 a.m., right? So you would just have to make two points. So the first one would be like 6, 60, and the second one is 7, 55, and then just see how much it goes up or down. Yeah? So for B, could you just put 1, 0, 13, Uh, Yeah. I mean, it really doesn't matter, it, and it's just changing between 1 and 2. It's how many hours are between the two, so it doesn't matter really if you call it 12 or 13 and 14 or 1 and 2. Yeah? Um, what is 6 a.m.? Uh, so 6 a.m., everybody look right now. 6 a.m. is right here. Second dot. Yeah, do you see how, like, it lines up with the M is where those are? Good question. 
Uh, the second part of the assignment, that 14 through 22, are just like the notes we did where it gives you two points. Okay? All right, so you've got about 10 minutes to work right now, maybe 11 minutes to work right now. You can get a lot of it done. It is due tomorrow. Uh, you not work.